Hello viewer, welcome to the Science Hub. My name is Eden Kagoria, a Form 2 student at Loreto Convent Valley And with me are Alice Sondo, Edidia Yosef. Today we are going to be discussing the second topic in the Form 2 syllabus, which is chemical families. Elements in the same group are said to belong in the same chemical family. There are four chemical families. These are alkaline metals, alkaline earth metals, halogens and noble gases. Today we are going to be discussing alkaline metals. Elements in group 1 are said to be alkali metals. Among these elements are lithium, sodium and potassium. As you can see, all the elements have one electron at the outermost energy level. We will now talk about their physical properties. The first physical property is atomic radius. Atomic radius is the distance between the nucleus of the atom and its outermost energy level. Atomic radius of alkali metals increases down the group. This is because the number of energy levels also increases down the group. The number of energy levels increases, increases down the group due to the electrons they contain that also increase down the group. Ionic radius of alkaline metals also increases down the group. This is because I am. This is because group one elements react by losing an electron. When they lose an electron, it increases the nuclear attraction of the remaining electrons, thus reducing the radius. Ionization energy is the minimum heat energy required to remove an electron from its outermost energy level when in gaseous state. Ionization energy decreases down the group. This is because the forces of attraction decrease when the atomic size increases. Another physical property is melting and boiling points. Melting and boiling points decrease down the group. This is because the, for the strength of the forces holding the electrons decreases with the size of the, ato with the atomic size. Hence, larger the, the larger the atomic size, the weaker the forces of attraction. We're now going to move on to the chemical properties. We're going to react alkali metals with air, water, and chlorine. We will begin by talking about the alkali metals reaction with water. Lithium reacts with water vigorously, sodium reacts with water more vigorously, while potassium reacts with water violently. Alkali metals react with water to form the corresponding hydroxide and hydrogen gas as Eden is going to demonstrate. So we are going to carry out the experiment using lithium and water. As lithium is a solid element, we'll have to cut it. solid metal you need to cut a small piece so we add some water in a beaker and add a small amount of lithium to the water be sure to add a small amount as lithium is explosive The lithium dissolves in the water as it produces a hissing sound. Yididia said that alkali metals react with water to produce metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So we are going to test whether this solution is a basic solution using litmus paper. We'll first add some red litmus paper to the solution. The litmus paper changes to blue. The litmus paper changes to blue. We're going to repeat the same using a blue litmus paper. We 
because it must paper remains blue, hence confirming that the solution formed is basic. We are now going to look at the alkali metals reaction with chlorine. Uh, when alkali metals react with chlorine, they form the corresponding metal chlorides. For example, sodium reacts with chlorine to form sodium chloride. We are now going to look at the reaction of alkali metals with air, as we are going to demonstrate. Uh, the first metal we will use is lithium metal. So we will first extract it. insert it into water to form a solution because if burnt in its solid state it will be explosive. It then dissolves in water producing a hissing sound and as we mix it it forms a solution and when burnt in air as you can see it produces a brick red flame. We're only going to take a small piece of sodium because sodium is highly explosive. As you can see, sodium reacts with water by darting from side to side and produces a hissing sound.